Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, I'm really excited. This is one that you guys have been asking for. And so I'm calling this Start to Finish, how to create a basic Christmas light display from scratch. So in these next three videos, this video and the two after it, we're gonna be talking about um, basically how you can start from nothing, select some basic gear and build a Christmas light show from scratch. Now, a uh, pixel type light show. Now, if you've been watching, um, you're gonna know, and, and if you've been around this hobby for a while, I just wanna say a couple things before I begin, okay? This is not the end all be all, this is perfect for everyone list. At the end of the day, when you're doing an animated Christmas light show display on your house or on another type of building, or just in a yard, um, the way that you lay things out and, and what you want the, your end result to be, ultimately determines a lot of the specifics as to what controller you get, what lights you need, et cetera, et cetera. But what we're doing in this video and in these videos is literally starting from scratch because this is the number one requested video uh, series that I've been asked to do. So if you're ready to enjoy this, be sure you're subscribed here so you don't miss a thing. And let's dive in. In this first video, we're going to talk about the gear. So I'm going to show you the gear. I'm going to order it all. And then when it comes, I'm going to go back there to the table and we're going to assemble this thing. We're going to show you how to put it all together and how to get control from X lights on your computer. Okay. So prerequisites, um, and, and we will have a full article on learningchristmaslighting.com as well with all of this info in it. You're going to need a computer. Okay. It could be a Windows PC or a Mac. However, um, I say that with a big asterisk because Macs no longer support X schedule, which you use to schedule your show. Um, there are other ways to do it, such as FPP, um, which works well, but for beginners, I really don't recommend starting with that. I would say get a show up and running first on a PC. It doesn't have to be a nice PC, um, but it you know, needs to be reasonably within the past 10 years or something. You know, there, There's lots of stuff out there, right? Um, but, you know, just a couple hundred dollar PC, find one, beg a friend, see who's got something in their garage if you're if you're a Mac person. Um, or, uh, so you're, you're gonna need a PC, that's prerequisite. Um, you're going to need a network cable as well, just an ethernet cable um, to be able to connect your PC to your controller. And then you're gonna need this other stuff. So when it comes to the specifics of light show stuff, um, here is just a basic template for a cool show that you can begin to put stuff together. And this may be, I've had people use this before. I actually made it last year um, in about November for my Learning Christmas Lighting Academy members. And I had people go buy this stuff and be able to make their first show with 600 pixels. How cool is that? Um, so the basics. First thing you're going to need is a pixel controller. I recommend, especially if you're just getting started, going with a Falcon and with an F4 V3. Yes, I know there are many lovers of the Culp controllers out there, and I like them too, and there are other brands as well. But Falcon, to me, when I look at the different controllers, when I see what people are using, etc., they've set an incredibly high standard for reliability, um, which Culp hasn't proven itself to me yet. Uh, maybe we'll get there. Um, but also just ease of use and configuration and getting these things going. Okay. Like the, the fact that they have a built in screen, but they don't require you to use FPP to be able to run your show and stuff. Just make these easier to get started with if you're brand new. So you're going to buy one of these. Then we're going to go over, we're going to get some lights. So I'm recommending Wally's lights. Um, I've bought pixels from a lot of places. Wally's lights is great. And they have these pixel points as well. So this is like their referral program and you'll catch my link on the post and below to their referral where you can get 10 bucks off your first order um, and I get 10 bucks off too, which is great. Um, I appreciate that as well, that little kickback from Wally. Um, but honestly, I was recommending him even before I realized that that thing was there on the screen. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go with 12 volt pixels. Um, at the time of this recording, it's like literally right after Christmas and everything's out of stock. So you'll go uh, to this page. We'll have it linked directly, the 12 volt pixels page. And there would normally be stuff here, but he's out of stock at this moment. And he's really good. Uh, Wally, that is Ryan Walter, is really good about keeping that updated. Okay. Uh, also from Wally's lights, we need some cables. Okay. So when it comes to cables, there's a couple things that we need. 
Uh, back to our controller here. There are these terminal blocks outputs that have little plugs in them that look like this one, but there's there's four of them. Okay, and, and this to these we we wire what's called a pigtail. Okay, so when we buy pixels, I'll just go home to show you. We're gonna buy X Connect connector pixels. Okay, these are the most common, um, and over the past year or two, they've become kind of the ubiquitous, the most popular type. So there's no reason to go with another connector. There are not significant advantages to any of the other connectors like Raywoo or uh, Paul Zhang or DIY LED Express. Um, everybody's got the X Connect now, and it's a good connector. So you'll go in here, you'll you'll find your pixels, you'll buy the X Connect ones. We'll link directly to them in the article as mentioned, and um, and then you'll be able to go ahead and you're going to need those pigtails. So we'll go to wiring cables here, go to pigtails, and I'm going to buy all this stuff too later. Um, and so you need an X Connect pigtails. Um, he sells them as a pair, which is great for a buck 89, you know, hard to argue with that. Um, and so um, he may also have singles, but they might be out of stock. So if, if there are singles here, you can buy just the female, if not get the pair, they're great. Um, and then we go to extensions. Um, extensions are kind of on you. You can go up to about 25 feet from the controller on an extension. So he's got a variety of options here. Um, we're going to end up with four pixel outputs of 150 pixels each. And so you can run those, you know, about three meters or about 10 feet, 15 feet, uh, tw as high as 25. But you're going to want four extension cables of some short sort to get it a little bit away from the controller. Okay, next, let's go ahead. And da -da 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 -da. let's see, make sure we got everything here from Wally. Yep, we're good here. We don't need any of this other stuff for a, a, a simple first display. So now we'll go over to Wired Watts. Uh, Wired Watts has a lot of great stuff. They do sell pixels too. Um, Wally's prices are just a little bit lower on them. So you could get them either place. Um, again, you know, Wally's got that 10 bucks off your first order. So hard to argue with that if you haven't ordered there before. Um, so we need to get an enclosure. What an enclosure does is it puts our controller into a physical box so that it's protected from the elements. And when you're just starting, and I think these are great for anyone, the cable guard boxes are really great because they offer you the ability to, that you don't have to drill holes in them to mount your stuff in them because there's holes, there's pre-built mounting points. We'll get to that in a second. And in the bottom, there's holes with foam where you can bring your connections through. Okay. So. CG 1500 enclosure we're going to get for you. Uh, and then we're going to go get the mounting plate. So Wired Watts has these mounting plates as well. And we are looking for the CG 1500 mounting plate for Falcon and Sand devices because the layout we're going to do is similar to this one. We're going to do a power supply next to the controller. Thinking of power supplies, hey! Next thing is a power supply. We're going to go with the Meanwell LRS35012. It is the most common. It matches up with this mounting plate. Great. And if you ever have a problem with it, which is very rare, um, you're able to get a new one really quick. Okay. Um, as well as if you expand your show later, you can get more, etc. Okay. So those are important. LRS350 power supply. Next, we're going to get a AC power cord. This is just a literally just a cord, a Edison plug here in the US. To bare wires it's already stripped so when we go to wire um our um our meanwhile power supply we just wire straight in with a screwdriver it's it's really very simple next on wired watts we go to the wire page and we scroll down to find the friendly um thhn wire this one you can get at the hardware store if you want but he sells it for a reasonable price and we're gonna go ahead just for safety's sake and we're going to go with 10 gauge. It's 10 cents more than the 12 gauge. And with a, a power supply, uh, meanwhile, um, these LRS 350s are a 29 amp power supply. So if you were running it full tilt, which you shouldn't do, you should only run it to about 80% um, for a safety factor, this wire would have no problem being thick enough for that load. So we're going to go buy that by the foot. You literally need just buy like two feet. You're going to use like one foot probably. But, you know, it's good to have a little bit extra. Okay, so once we get that, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, keep following my list so I make sure we don't miss anything here. 
By the way, we'll have a diagram as well, too, that shows you how to hook this stuff up over on Learn Christmas Lighting. Um, so then once you're done with that, um, you're pretty much done. Um, note as well, just the mounting plate is going to come with the screws you need, okay? And so that's great because you don't have to worry about finding the right screws, etc. It's just going to be all right there. So, whew, that was a lot. I know if you're new to this, that can seem like a lot. Um, just trust me. These are the things you need if you want to get started. Um, other than Wally's Lights, which has that referral code uh, where, you know, you can get 10 bucks off and I can get 10 bucks off when you make your first order. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of these these companies. I've just bought from them. I've had great experiences and uh, and I trust them. So in our next video, guys, we're going to be doing some great stuff here. We're going to go ahead and we are going to build all of this. So what that looks like is we're going to say, okay, Starting from a box, a box, a pile of boxes that have come from Wired Watts, from Wally's Lights, and uh, from uh, Pixel Controller, we're then going to go ahead and we're going to wire this stuff together and start plugging lights in, okay? So that you can see how this works and how you can begin to light up your first lights. For this, for a basic display, we're not going to worry about... Um, Coro props, though you can learn more about them here. We're not going to worry about, um, you know, different mountings like that. We're just getting these lights to light up, to look cool, to make some cool patterns. And hopefully, if you enjoy this hobby as you begin learning it, you'll come back and you'll keep learning more and then, and then build a cooler, uh, bigger display uh, as you go. So if you've enjoyed this, uh, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're brand new to this, then this video is for you, but you also want to get my guide, the three things you need to know before you buy any Christmas lighting equipment. So grab that at learnchristmaslighting.com here, and I will see you guys next week as long as you're subscribed where we are going to go into building all this stuff. And then after that, we're going to get control, build our first sequence. It's going to be awesome. We'll see you there. Thanks.